Hey guys, Happy New Year. I hope you're doing well. I'm stoked to show you my latest project. Uh, I did this over Christmas. This is the Swamp Stutter and officially my first DIY pedal. I did put together a kit uh, pedal, the Clon Center from Lantone, about a year back and made a review about it. And uh, after that, I kind of got hooked with the whole pedal build. And if I look at my pedal board, uh, there's one pedal that's always there, and that's a delay. I tend to like to have at least one delay in my signal chain, if not two. And I thought, why not try and attempt building a delay? So I looked at a couple of kits, and during my search, I stumbled on the PT2399IC, which is a very affordable little chip that uh, allows you to create a little bit of delay and as I dug a little further I stumbled on this PT2399 board which actually takes care of all the basic uh, you know uh, resistors and capacitors needed to get the board up and running it just leaves you with an input output and uh, power for the board so I got myself a couple of those and I said let's let's get to work and see what we can come up with that's what this dual delay is all about it's basically two um, PT2399s cascaded and uh, I'll walk you to a couple of the basics on this video this board comes with a fixed delay which is very short it's almost like a reverb so you can barely tell so what you need to do is go and take out this R27 resistor and uh, you can connect a potentiometer which is 50k ideally or slightly less and that allows you to tune in your delay time from uh, a few milliseconds up to maybe 300 to 400. Bear in mind the higher you go with the delay time it starts to get a little bit noisy. Now if you look at this board this is the final end result but I started off with this which was just a 3d printed uh, layout uh, that I could work with and uh, I started to, to tinker around then I decided to invest in an enclosure and then my buddy Josh uh, was kind enough to come and help me drill some holes and actually then stepped in and did this fantastic neat install for me so Josh thanks a lot because I don't think I would have done such a neat job myself. Josh has um, delay using the PT2399 so uh, check out what he's done with one of these boards. This pedal has basically your input uh, DC jack which takes any standard 9 volt adapter. So I'm actually using a uh, adapter for a boss or an Ibanez tube screamer and that works with the swamp stutter it has two blend knobs the first circuit and the second circuit and then you also have these potentiometers that help you dial in the, the delay and then you have your input and your output jack so very simple there is no on off button and uh, two reasons for that it's gonna take some time to get me one but uh, also the perfect place for this I've noticed is in the effects loop and uh, with the blend knobs uh, I don't even see the need to to have an on off because I always have delay in my signal chain so I'm probably not even going to go and put one in uh, the way it's set up right now it works great and it's always on in my effects loop so with that I'll play you some samples and uh, let you hear it Okay, for this demo, we're going to use my beautiful 1977 Ibanez Chima. So I'm um, in the middle position. My signal chain is basically guitar straight into the amplifier on the clean channel. And I have the delay pedal in the effects loop. So here's my uh, clean tone. I'm just going to dial down the two mix knobs. <laughs> Now let's just bring in the first delay and that's so you can really step it up and 
and you can hear a little bit of noise so it's obviously going to get amplified if you use a dirty channel so okay now we'll introduce the second delay So. I like the longer delay so I'll probably step that up a bit. So you can see the results are pretty good for a DIY pedal. But it doesn't really stack up against even your $40 import pedals that you get these days. You know, those mini pedals or micro pedals, whatever you call them. So those do a better job of the signal to noise handling. And uh, here you have a bit of uh, noise that if I bring in the high gain channel, you can already hear it, you know. <laughs> So there's a, there's a bit of noise. Let's step up the game just for the sake of this experiment. So you can see with the gain channel, you can really hear that noise and uh, I'll probably have to spend some time and see if, it's, if I can uh, further improve this pedal. So guys, let me know what you thought of the tone in the comments below and what you thought of this build overall. I have got tape here just because I have misplaced the screws. I hope to find them at some point in my little mess. With that, over to Josh and let's see what he's got for us. Hey guys, this is my Red Fox Delay Prototype. Uh, I took a delay circuit that Dave used in Swamp Stutter. He used two of them, I used one, and I fed it inside of this guitar. I had to cut out the cavity to make space for the board. I did a copper shield on all of it, including the back. That way it's a completely sealed unit. Uh, I put a push-pull pot to the ring to turn the delay on and off. A kill switch for the battery so that I'm not changing the battery every single time I gotta play it. Uh, this is your intensity and this is your I believe speed. Oh it's a rate, that's what it is. Guys, I hope you found this helpful. There are links below in case you're interested in building one of these. And uh, with that, I'll wrap up this video. Happy New Year again, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.